Hey there, Penta. John Butler here with another lean video on uh, Bluebeam. This one is called Format Painter. Um, and if anybody's familiar with Microsoft Office, whether it's uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, or Outlook, it allows you to quickly copy over one condition to another condition or, uh, or format one item to another item. So as you can see here, I have a, a polygon markup on my, uh, my shop drawing. You can see I've added a lot of different properties to it. I've added a thick purple line, um, a blue infill that's slightly opaque, and uh, some blue horizontal, um, or I'm sorry, diagonal lines. Um, and I wanna copy this over. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a, a new rectangle. And uh, don't mind that it's yellow, my, that's my default. Um, so you can actually go ahead and create this new callout, and I'm actually gonna create a uh, a circle one as well. And you can see that these are two very raw markups that have no properties to them. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna copy these markups over to these um, without having to go in and manually change this over to um, purple, this to blue, um, change my line width, and you know do all my hatch. So it takes a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this thing called Format Painter. And uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna select the markup that you wanna take the properties to and transfer over to here. So I'm gonna click and select this. You can see that it's selected. Go over to uh, Edit, which is up here at the top. So you have File, Edit. And then right here you have Format Painter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this. And now it gives me a little paintbrush when I hover over the markup and it transfers the properties from here to here. And then I'm gonna go over to the circle and it does the exact same thing. Um, you, can, you can do this with any markup to another markup in Bluebeam, whether it's a, a callout box or a text box. All you gotta do is select the first one, use the format painter, go over to the text box and it'll change that and it'll change the callout. So it gets a little tricky when it comes to uh, text boxes because now you have an infill that may not be desirable, but it could save you a lot of steps and uh, now you can just do the infill of, of white if you wanted to. So this is Format Painter, hope it helps, thanks.